So yeah, so we have a few things to answer or to pass it on before we go into um fast right? Are you remembering that? Two equals what? Well, that's one thing. Yeah, one thing I got right. And what? Right. What does a capacitor do? Uh, it will charge and then it will start. Right. So that yes, it will store charge and it will release and discharge. Right. Um. All right, let's do the quick review. Let's make sure I give all that test for the Right, and go with the definition. Um, so, first thing we need to remember is that capacitance is what? Capacitance is Q1V and it is measured in what? Farad, right? And the values are generally what? Well, small micro and um, equal one thing, right? Yeah. Online, but they hang up. Fair enough. Sorry, then. It looks better. Right. So, capacitance is Q1V. Uh, we also, I also gave you something, right? A capacitor is dependent on three quantities. What would it be? Huh? You found it looking neat. The material between the plates, right? The permittivity of free space. What else? Area and distance, right? Okay, so these two formulas to give the capacitance. Uh, we also talk about a capacitor having the ability to charge and discharge, right? So during the charging field, anybody remember what does the what the graphs look like? We have three graphs. All right, let's start with the easiest one, charge. What does charge with time look like? Put up, right? So it's going to a maximum value. Let's call that Q naught. What does voltage look like? And what does current look like? Right, current starts at the maximum, but that's what being supplied, and it decreases as the what? Why does the current decrease? Because the current decreases in the circuit because a potential difference does not across the um, capacitor. And when the battery and the capacitor have the same charge, no current will flow, right? Um, anybody remember the formulas? Uh, we'll start with these now. Okay, we'll start with okay. I naught is I is equal to I naught. Negative T on RC. Right? And the one with the others are what? Right here is what? We know what E. That's correct? Yeah, one, one minus. minus. One minus E T to the R C. And this is the same thing, right? Yeah. Q is equal to Q naught by one minus E minus T R C. Right? This is during the charging phase. Remember, this happens because this builds up. Right? When the PDF builds up, um, the current begins. Current flow in the circuit begins to decrease, right? Then we have. Uh, Discharging, All right? Discharging. What do you all look like with discharging? No. no. All right? They all look like this. Some people actually pay attention, man. Huh? Sorry? No, same thing with discharging. 
Because if the current goes out of it, it means that when you're only charge, you want to set up the current. Oh, you mean like, like, like this? No, same, the same thing. But do you need this charge in phase? So Q naught E minus T on RC here is V is equal to all the same formulas, right? Anybody remember what, what RC is? RC is your time constant. <laughs> right. What does what does time constant mean again? Time taken for what? Time taken to time taken for one on e of the maximum value, one on e of the max value to discharge. Right, so it's how long, so time constant is the time it takes for one on E of whatever the maximum value is. However long it takes to discharge or, or charge. Right, RC is time constant, but remember R could also be the resistance of the resistor in the circuit and C will be the capacitor. Right, and I think I showed you how they could be simplified to give you a time quantity. Right, what's the last thing I'm missing? I'll give you the next thing. And I've proven. Right, right, we talked about series and parallel. And we proved those formally, right? And all this. <laughs> right, so we have to just turn and the part. All right, and the last two things that we talked about, we talked about. Uh, Capacitance in series and the formula is one on C is one on C1 plus one on C2. We talked about capacitance in parallel, which is um, C is equal to C1 plus C2. And one last thing we went through real fast. What last thing I went through? And it is stored? Which was W is equal to a half. What can I give you? Okay. All the other Yeah. Am I right to work here? So a half BQ and a half. And I gave you the next version as well, right? Right? I gave you a C B squared. You we can figure out the next one. You can figure out the next one, right? Right, so this is all the theory that we went through for capacitance. Now we're going to attempt to do some fast paper.
Let's see if this will look here. Yeah. All right, you'll see enough. Which of these statement is correct? The multiple choice. Because the first two is multiple choice. I don't know. Huh? Yeah, there's some other good choice. I don't have that book. Yeah. Right? Was the answer here? Which of the following there is correct? Those two are in what? Parallel, right? Who's on correct? Who's on wrong, right? Because that's not the formula for okay. parallel. Charge is to be the same. Charge, remember, I told you all charge and current is the same, right? So, would charge be the same in a parallel? No. no. So, one and two out. Energy stored by the two capacitors is the same, right? So, we'll check it out now. And what is the 
potential difference of cross region is same. What you know about the voltage and parallel? Same. Okay. Think about it. See only. Look at the formula for the look at the formula on the board for energy stored. No, 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 mini man. Figure it out. I'm gonna ask you why I'm. So you put it the you know. I'll pick them up. Think about it. C or D and Y. Online, you can message up. Why, why, why is not sick? Because the energy stored is not the same. Yeah. Right, look at the formula. So energy stored, a half B by Q. And we said in, and we said in part B, charge is not the same. Right. But if both is the same, right? So they, they can't have the same energy stored. That's okay. If the Q bar is different, right. and if the P bar is the same, oh, then they, right. they, they can't have the same energy stored, right? So yes, the answer is the potential difference across each capacitor is the same. All right? I don't, I don't know what you is, all right? Next one here. Try this one. Uh, if you go to online, please remember to mess with something, please. Kyra and Kyra. Right, star, Mahabre thing. Please message something. They want you to work out energy stored. They give you a voltage and they give you a capacitor. The formula is on the board. Please remember to convert, right? Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Where? Uh, well, what? What? Uh, what? 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 Yes. All right, so what you all got? What you all got? B, I see in D as a dog. B, okay, well, I see in the final answer. Uh, let's see. Where is my pen? 
และเจอที่ดีดูต่อคือกลุ่มเชื่อมกับคนที่จะต่อครับโอ้ใช่ไหมคุณสุดอ่ะใช่ไหมไปโพสใช่สุดาฮะอ่าคุณคุณจะมาช่วยอยู่ที่ไหนเองอยู่ที่น่าวิ่งกระปั๊บสตันสตันวิ่งกระปั๊บโอเคสตันกระปั๊บสตันสตันหนึ่งพันเจ็ดร้อยสิบเจ็ดเจ็ดสิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่สิบสี่ใช่ก็ใช่ถ้าเกิดนายสูงเนี่ยใช่ถ้าเกิดนายสูงอะไรนายสตูดิโอเชนบอยส์ใช่จะไปเที่ยวโรงแรมสติไปตามตั้งอะไรนายเล่นตัวกินตอนเราเป็นหาเด็กเราจะเซียนนะใช่เราเขียนบทเอ็ดทูกับบัตต์ตอนเอ็ดทูกับบัตต์ตอนเป็นทูเดฟันมาเทียร์ไรไปกับวันชูส์อ่ะพาร์แล้วฟลีดกับบัตต์ตอนวิทัสฟีสวิทวีนะอีฟลีสตัวเอ็ดเอฟกับทูชูส์ซีมกับบัตต์ตอนวิทัสฟีส between the plate we have the dielectric of twice the conductivity. Mula ba? Sa dami pa. May pa siyang kabito. Right. So if they say the change is positive, look at the second formula there. What it means is this. And and the second formula of that, right? The area stays the same, but the cross-sectional area stays the same, and the separation stays the same. So we are ready for another survey again. What do you answer looking like? Two to one. Ah, see? Yeah, it looks like see. How can I do? <laughs> right, so it will be two epsilon e over d. We should uh, epsilon e on d. It is the same. It is the same. It is the same. So it's two to one. Okay, so it was hard. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Then. So. Okay. Next one. Any questions online? Oh wait, I know that. That's what you three. There is the next model of choice, right? No. Uh, so can, 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 all right. Yeah, I'm gonna Anyway, forget that. Let's do the calculation. Can you all handle a part one? We did quick. <laughs> what? What is it? Fine. Right, what? Yeah, that could work. Yeah. When I charge up one column, this charge is, is stored across the plates where the potential difference is one volt. And let's finish it all set. This one might be 20 cents. So the second year mark. I'm marking it across. Right, yeah. So this guy is borrowed. If it comes, if you do remember formal definition. Take the formula for it in which one farad is equal to one coulomb divided by one volt. That mark, full mark. Okay. <laughs> one farad 
No, if you do remember, you can just write that in rule. Right? One part is the capacitance stored when a charge of one volt is stored between the plates with a potential difference of one volt. Okay? If that's too hard to remember, just saying one part is one coulomb divided by one coulomb. Uh, Jude, describe, describe how the dimensions of parallel plate affect the capacitance. Describe how the dimensions of a parallel plate affect its capacitance. So, what you would say? Capacitance and a cross sectional area is what? Directly related and, and, and the distance between the places is closely related to the. Right? So, basically, you're taking the formula and putting it in words. All right? So, you can see that. Um, the area, cross-sectional area of the plate is directly related. The cross-sectional area of the plate is directly related to the capacitance and the separation of the plates is inversely related to the capacitance. Maybe I'm going to write it. So do you have the capacitance? That's an in proportional Um, they have to prove this. See if we can do that. In fact, this is right on the form, right? <laughs> right, that's what we did last week. Just yes, write down the formula and let's, let's go to the calculation. If we can prove it, that'll be good. Actually, let's talk about it. First. Let's just talk about it. Well, Ruben, sorry. No, 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 Said, I'm not going to do that. 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 She want to change the change if you All right, yeah. So if you have to prove in series, what's the first formula you start with? If you have to prove in series, you get a start of the formula. What's the formula? Something in something in series is split up. What in series is split up? Voltage. So you start with V is equal to V1 plus V2. And they prove it from there. What about in parallel? Where is it? Start with what? Well, charge. Sorry, charge, right? All right. Don't stress yourself over that. You can learn that before it's done, right? Right. But let's focus on this now. Right? Because it's the first time we do enjoy diagram that I don't know what year it is. I think it's right here. I'm not too sure. 
Oh, wait, wait. Right. So take a look at the diagram, draw a diagram, and then let's see if we can find everything that we need, right? Question number one, they want the charge in the circuit. We have the voltage in the circuit. How would we get the charge in the circuit? Right? Look at the formulas here. Look at the list in here. Right, if, if you go back to your summary, which formula are you going to use? One, two, what is? Why you need to find voltage? Sorry, to find charge. Right, you can use the first formula. Right, so, but to find, to find charge, you need to find C. So you're going to have to use these. Right, so this question here, it looks like a resistance question. Right, so you have to use these things here to simplify it. The first two resistors are in parallel, so you're using the parallel formula. And the last two are in the last two parallel as well. And then all three will be in what? Series. You see that? So the last two and the first three parallel. Right, the last two and the first three parallel simplify it. And all three are in three. the whole thing. Okay, so work it out. Let's see what you get there. Well, that's how fun your mother is. I don't know what my. I was my dinner. Right, but try so you have it. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that is 10 microfarads and forces. Okay, 
Yeah. Right, so I'm just taking your values out. Right, so remember. Yeah. Right, remember that these two here are in parallel. So when you're working it out, it will be three plus nine. That will be 12 microfarad. Okay? So you can take off this and take off this and write 12. 12 micro, right? I, and you can do the unit here. Work in micro all the time. Right? Work in micro, and then when you're doing the last part, then you can do this. Okay? So here's eight. We have it already. And then when you work out these two here, what are you going to when it will go to 10 and 14, what you'll get? 24 microfarad. And now you can move it out in parallel. All right, and in series. Right? Move it out in series. Oh, yeah. Can try that fast there. So, we'll get out quick. Well, I'm watching here. I saw some people try to turn the device to my crew. You have to do that. If you work out one on C in my crew, and so be in my crew. So, you don't have to turn to my crew as yet. I mean, turn to the fire as yet. Right, one on C is how much? Two, three, four, five, six. So C is equal to four microfarad. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Finish up. Okay. Okay. Any questions online? So we know the we know the capacitors. Now we're going to charge. So the formula for charge is the first formula. I am going to use Q is equal to C by B. I know B and I know C. So it's four by ten to the minus six by six. No, no. So I got twenty four micro coulombs, right? Take a look at part two. Copy. You put one over everything. Yeah. Oh, I think you put one over this. Yes. That's why I keep asking. Why you put one over one? Oh, it's one over the whole thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So that's a good line all the way out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I wonder how that little people can make that? Yeah. Okay. And you can put a straight in the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right, so what's some help here? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, I was on part two. How much charge is stored in the? Yeah. Anybody writing? I can take it off. Yeah. Anybody writing online? Yeah. Taking it off, right? Yeah. Right. How much charge is stored in the eight microfarad capacitor yeah. and what's the PDM process? Right? So that question asking two things. And please remember, charge is what's in series. In case you all forgot, write down charge is the same in the series. And the V splits up in series, right? Please remember that. And in parallel to the group, right? So 
how much the charge is stored in the end. The answer for part two is what I get 24. 24 microcoulombs. Right, so I need some help with part three. Part three. Yeah, the cash battery. How much charge is stored in eight microfarad? I'll give you a hint. No calculation either. Yeah. But charge is here. No calculation for that part. 24, right? Why? Because in series, right? The eight is in series with this and this, right? So therefore, the charge across all three combined, each one of them will have a uh, same 24 micro, 24 micro And how you'll get a PDR, Adam? <laughs> How you'll get it here across the eight micro fire capacitor. Put it on the board because, well, because both the series spins up, right? So V is equal to, right? V is equal to Q1. How much you got? Huh? Charges, uh, charges 24, 24 micro divided by 8 micro, that's three volts. Right, but nobody has a part four. Part four. I know, that was coming. 
Uh, Q was what? For part, part three? Q was uh, 24. And if the first one was it, yeah, so 24 divided by it. But how are we doing part four? Like online, if you're looking board. Huh? That is a nice number. And that's not a nice number. Here's 10 and here's 14, right? The problem is uh, to find the charge on the, this 10 ohm capacitor online, just look at the camera, right? To, to get the capacitance, to get the um, charge here, we need the voltage here, correct? How are we getting that? So again, we know that Q is equal to C by V. We have C, but we don't have V. So, so now what we have to do is think, how are we going to get V? Yeah. How are we going to get V? We, we have this. We have the total voltage, which was six. Huh? Q over C. Q over C. We think of the Q over C. But where you gonna use put the So if you look back at this circuit, um so I get five point seven. No, no, it's a whole a nice one now. So watch this here. <laughs> if you look back at your original circuit, right? Sorry, the one that you simplify. You have one here, yeah. two here, three here, right? And the total voltage was uh, six volts. Remember, remember across the eight, remember here we had eight, here we had 24. And here we had um, 12. Remember that? If you ask here, those online, I'll bring them some. Watch here. Right. So you have 12, 8, and 24, right? And here was 6. How did we get it? How did we get it? PD here. What we did? And, and we divide um and we divide the charge by the voltage. Right? What will be the PD here? Or we can get a PD here and here. Because watch, if we figure out the PD here, we are going to PD here because PD in parallel is the same. So how we will get it, how we will get a potential difference here. How are we doing that? We know the capacitance and we know the charge. And we know the charge. Charge in this circuit was 24. Right. So we know that the voltage, we just rearranging that same formula there. The voltage here will be the charge over the capacitor. Right? The charge was 24, I think. Yeah. And remember, the charge with the voltage with the same charge because it's in series, right? Yeah. Charge in series is the same. So the charge here is 24 microcoulombs, and the capacitance here is 20. So it means that the voltage here is one, yeah. right? I have a next question because I find you all forget this. If here is one and here is three, how much is here? Voltage. Here is two, very good. Here is one, here is three, and here is two. When you add it up, you will get it total six. Okay? So now we know the voltage. We know that the voltage is one and the capacitance here is 24 um, micro, right? That's 24 micro. So the charge will be, sorry, not 24, make a mistake. They want it across the 10, so 10 micro. So the charge will be 10 micro coulombs. Are you okay with that? Right, so you notice I went back and I used form five electricity here. So I went back and I worked out the voltage here, and the voltage here will be the same voltage here and same voltage here. 
these two will carry the same voltage typical voltage in parallel the same. Are you okay with that? Yes. And the other one. And the other one. Yeah. And the last part, uh, I, I erased it, but the last part is uh, find the total energy. Right? Find the total energy. Find the total energy. Let's do our next one. Right, book of the last part, book of the energy. Right, they want the engine whole circuit, right? Yeah. The whole circuit, whole circuit. Yeah, it was the whole circuit. Right. Find the energy in the whole circuit. I think it was right. <laughs> yeah, so it's all energy in the whole circuit, in the whole system. Right, so what's the formula you get up? A half C B squared and the entire capacitor will come again. Uh, uh, total capacitance, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the total voltage in circuit was six. Yeah. So the answer is seven point two by ten to the minus five. Yeah. Right? Seven point two by ten to the minus five. All right, let's go again. How much was that again? Yeah, this one here, a, a quick little multiple choice. Which of the following has the highest with this highest um, capacitor? 
of course, it's going to be assumed and then you will have the same to back to back, right? Which of the following there will have the height? A, B, or C, or D? Which one? Yeah. Online, what you all got? A, B, C, or D? <laughs> Online, what you all got? No, she got time to the last question. This one. Yeah. Right, because in parallel, in series, there's story in parallel, and right? You don't have to add any fraction or anything. All right, so the answer is deep. Right, you don't need values, right? You don't need any values to figure that out. All right, define capacitor. What's the SI unit? Take two SI units and comprise. Try that part. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the end. I don't know the end. Try that part. Okay, unit. Right, I want to try 2019 number one, right? So we'll Right, define the pattern, right? You have it there. Uh, SI unit is what? And stay two SI units and make it up. Put the one more, right? Try part one. Give it lucky, give it here now. I don't know I don't want to do it. Ready? 
and your fire which I'm here. Is that twenty forty? Twenty forty number one. Right, that's number one, part B. You have part B. Right, so you want to get B A reality. Right? How much you that? How much? Two hundred, yeah? When I connected, when I connected here, total voltage is 300. Voltage here to here is 100. So here will be 200. Right? Voltage in parallel, voltage in series, such stuff, right? Use your answer in B part one to find the capacitance of A. Right here is 200. Find the capacitance of A. Really easy. Find the capacitance of A. A little more working. A little more working on the last one. Find the capacitance of A. Right, I'll give you a small hint. Give me the Anybody can find it like what's the rainy time? Find it like on a gallery. So, probably 20 in that one. Right, you all got it? Right, so let's start with the problem. The problem is they want us to get C E. Right? We knew that to get C, right? We knew that C is equal to Q and B, right? That's formula number one. Uh we know B. We know B, B is 200, but we don't know Q. Right? How are we getting charged now? We had to find a way to get charged, right? So if we go back to the one right next door, we know the voltage and we know the capacitor. So we can come right here and we can find charge, right? Charge is equal to C by B formula right there. So that will be 60 by 10 to the minus six multiplied by 100. Six by 10 to the minus six. All right, so that's six by ten to divide us to divide us four or three. That's right. Yeah, that's three. Right, so it's six by ten to the minus three divided by two one. <laughs> How much is that? Um, uh, three by ten. Right, 
Yes, why we And the last part was the Hello, sir. What is it? Oh, yes, we are up. Show that it took the pastor how equivalent of 20 million farad. Show that it took the pastor in series are equivalent of single capacitor 20 million farad. That's what. Basically, find it to the capacitor. Question finally total capacitor. Finally total capacitance of PA and C B. Yeah. Anybody got 2011? Online, you all doing it there? What have Next up. What? Right, it's series, right? So it's one on C is equal to one on thirty plus one on sixty. Right, so that is the uh, twenty. Yeah. One thirty, that would be what? Two on three on sixty. All right, let's go again. Anybody got twenty eleven? It's under our I let's go again. Right, it's a graph. It's a graph question. All right, so watch it again. Right, um, pick a portion of the graph. Pick a portion of the graph depicting the experimental results of K using a black box for discharging capacitor church system. 
that the cables did be various of time and the areas graph, right? What did they do with the graph? The, the cardi graph, because that's a straight line. There you see. One over T. Where you do the, the turn that curve that straight? What's the shape of that graph? Look at it. What's the shape of that graph? Do you recognize the formula? It's looking a little bad, but right, this this curve charge, not this charge it. This charge. It's charging, right? So it's supposed to be a curve, but it turns out to be a straight line. So how do they go from a curve to a straight line? What is do? Ask people. Fuck, don't do this already. It's linearized it. It's taking on both sides. That's really huh? <laughs> right, so you linearize it, right? Yeah. So you have to linearize the function, okay? And that's why they have a lot of, lot of things there, right? So just to mark paper because you'll need it. Linearize that thing. Linearize it. Take lon on both sides. And the y axis is ln b and the x axis is t. Are you updating our zip up? That's the same thing as what I have on the board, yeah. All right, you can do it. So, answer every single question. Come on, we get one right to the end. I'm not linear, I think not less we can do all this. This is 2011. Right, take long on both side, and you'll get long B is equal to ln v naught e minus trt, right? This will be ln b is equal to ln v naught. What you will do with the uh, multiplication? So you can add, add, ln e trc, okay? Ln e will cancel, and you will get ln v is equal to minus all right i'm going to skip a step ln v naught minus t over r per rearrange it per rearrange it i'll get minus one on r c by t plus ln v naught Right, they have to learn to linearize. You have to learn to linearize, right? You will see it a lot, right? So, question if this is the y axis and this is the x axis, then what is the gradient? Right, gradient is minus one on our and the y intercept is this. You know, Phoenicia, you okay with that? Eh? So, whenever you have a curve, remember you have to linearize it, right? You can take the curve into a straight line.
right? Part one, find the gradient, and then find the time constant. What is time constant again? Right. I don't know if you got the video about it all. Well, we have six minutes to read it off. All right, I'll help you. The first value, use um, use uh, x is zero, y is uh, two point two point two. 2.20, so I can the values, right? Zero, 2.2. And the next value down here is 50. 50 minus 0.2. Minus 0 0.2. Some of the gradient, please. 0, 2.2 and the 50 and minus 0 0.2. All right, so that's 2.2 minus minus 0 0.2. All over 0 minus 50. So I have 2 over 50 minus what? Minus 0 0.2. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Minus zero point zero four eight. So therefore, R C is how much? I know we talk about the gradient. How much? Remember the gradient was what? <laughs> Minus one on R C. So find R C part. That that that's the time constant, right? No, good negative. Good negative, the gradient and RC. Yeah. Hello, Kibra. Go and turn it. I just use the relation. I just use this relationship here. That was a gradient. And what we found was minus 0 0.48. So RC is equal to 1 over 0 0.048. 20 point entry. All right. And I'm going to say it. Take a chance and go over. Right. Next day, we'll do some more. Next day we'll do um we'll go back and do some fast papers and let us take as well, right? I want to do some more questions and make sure you all follow. Oh, okay. All right, so next day we'll continue from 